Okay, so we are recording. You muted yourself. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. Let's share my screen so you'll have my hot mess of a screen for a moment. Okay. God, and there's sorry, Tony. Sorry, Tony. But <laughs> let me move that over. <laughs> that was your before picture. The after is amazing. <laughs> Look at Tanya's ass. Oh my God. Yes. Nice. Yes. This is why we okay, are. I'm going to mute a... myself now because clearly I need to watch my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay, you are all muted now, so use the chat feature if you want to chat. Um, Amanda, I don't think you have chat feature on your phone, so at the end there's some time for Q&A, so we will go ahead and leave some time for that. But first thing, let's get rid of this. Now, I can't see the chat feature when I'm in um, full screen mode, so I will go ahead and check in with it when we are going. So let's go ahead and start our slideshow. Okay, somebody give me a thumbs up. You can see the screen, right? Cool, okay. I don't like how this is on my face, gosh. Okay, so, whoa, I already went past. So I wanted to share my five tips, and guys, these are five tips that you've probably heard, or they're just five kind of tips that are in the top of my mind right now. But first wanted to start off with some announcements. So we're the 25th of May, and I might have missed some people here because I was having computer problems. So if I missed you, I apologize. Um, just with some announcements. One, hopefully in the month of June or July, I'm gonna come up with my Team Believe kind of, um, what's it called? Logo. None of these are them. I just found these ones on the internet. So I just put three of those there. So I'm excited to come up with our logo so I can make some goodies for people coming to Summit and then next year. But quick celebration, um, so Success Club already this month, um, we've got Cammie rocking her business and now starting to work on her husband's business. Amanda, rock star, she's been a coach for maybe two weeks now, not, not even, um, hit SC10 today. Kimberly hit eight today, Beth hit eight today. These are the most recent ones I just saw come through on the CEO. Tanya's um, sitting at a nice seven. And then we have everybody else um, close on the board. So I know you guys are doing exactly what you should be doing at the end of the month. Um, recruiters of the month, Tanya and Cami. Now four, could be five. I, I lost track. I used the arena board to get the, to get the numbers. Kimberly, I think, is at three. Um, Carrie, Karina um, had two this month. Amanda, I put two, but we just added another one so she's at three so far and Karen um, one so rank advancements Miss Tanya is in her qualifying period of diamond so way to go Miss Tanya I think we're tomorrow we start week three I think of qualifying period so just so everybody knows when you hit diamond or higher you have to qualify for six weeks and I can share more about that on the team page Carrie, Amanda, and one more tomorrow morning. I don't want to jinx it because I like to wait and see that nothing else happens between now and midnight. Um, we have our new Emerald, which they will all be getting gift cards since we had our little Emerald um, game. So they will have those. Oh, it does pop up. Sorry, I get excited when I learn things. Oh, yes, as Kimberly says, it is stressful. Um, the six-week qualifying period is stressful. <laughs> And as you rank advance, you never lose that stress because as your diamonds are in their qualifying period, you are in your one star, two star, three star. So it just kind of has to come with the business. And if you lose your diamond, you get it back. Um, who is it? Amy Silverman, I think, went to five star, seven star, back to one star or two star for a year. She's now number four or five or whatever in the company. Um, and Melanie Mitro. The same coaches she signed up when she got her diamond are no longer her coaches. So it just goes to show that um, we all will gain it and lose it at some point. Um, 
and new coaches. We have Amanda, Demetria, Brendy, and Jillian. So yay, four new coaches on our team. Um, I wish I could figure out how to read the chat without it like changing my screen every time I do it. Yep, yeah, <laughs> smile, Tanya. <laughs> Miss Humble over there. Um, so yeah, the running man got us all going. Okay, so my first kind of tip is to know your network and be you. Wow, there's a lot of pictures on there now. So when you're thinking about your business, and this is all how you hit Success Club, guys. Your network is who you're talking to. So when you're posting on Facebook, who are you talking to and who are you trying to help? We always hear that if you're trying to help everybody, you're gonna end up helping nobody because you need to speak, typically, this is how I do it, I need to speak to people like me. So I'm trying to help people like me because that's the only way I really know how to share. I really only know how to share what's worked for me. So think about all of you right now. Think about what attracted you to myself or your upline coach. What were their posts about that made you want to join their team, that made you want to join their challenge group? So when you're starting out, or if you're in a lull period, or if you're like me where you're trying to turn your cold market into your warm market, you have to take a step back and figure out who you're trying to talk to. So you have to play around with your posts. What time do you post? What do they like? I've, and I've just posted some pictures of ones that people tend to like. Now these are recent ones because I honestly, I don't have time to go scroll through my entire Facebook page and neither do you guys. Um, so people like seeing Grayson. So unfortunately, my son will be on social media for most of his life. People love his sunglasses. Thankfully he wears them all the time. So I have a picture of him grocery shopping yesterday. People want to sneak peek into what we actually do eat. And that was my true grocery cart. And that was a pretty good one. So, and some days it won't be so good, but I'm pretty honest about what I eat. People do like when I post recipes and I don't know how to cook. I post them. My silly times in a car when Grayson's not in the back seat. The simple one where I'm sitting there like this smiling. Um, I don't know if that was right before or after my surgery, but I had just, it was an emotional post, but just a simple picture of my face. No stock photos, no quotes. No, nothing, just my face. People like Matt and I. The post with the two drinks, that was a breadcrumb of the business opportunity because I think it was a Wednesday night and somebody was rank advancing the next day. So I was cheersing, one, showing people I'm a real person who likes my drinks, and we all know I have them right here, and but breadcrumbing in the business side of it. Grayson and I, week one. We need to show before and after pictures, but we don't wanna vomit Beachbody. We're not fitness robots. So I kind of thought, okay, let's just show my week one progress with Grayson and his Buddha belly. I have a dog, so I talk about my dog and I'm running because that's outside. And weekends, Matt and I like to drink on the weekends um, or Monday or Tuesdays, wh whatever day it may be. But you need to play around with what are your people like? What, and um, Tanya Witch and I were talking about the other day, working for Four Seasons, people are... I mean, we work, I say we, because there's a lot of you. Um, I got one. You're done? Okay, here, here's another one. Um, we, people are just obsessed with luxury hotels and luxury things. So Tanya's like, I'm going to share some more about, you know, my annual party, my champagne, like what it's like to be the life of somebody who works at Four Seasons. That's not saying she's dropping a grand a night to stay at the hotel. <laughs> That's her job. But play around with what people like. And you need to go back and kind of see your engagement in your posts. But really think about what attracted you to your coach or what coaches pages do you go to, which hopefully there's not a lot guys, because your focus should be on your business, but what attracts you to them? And don't try to be perfect. You need to be you. You are branding yourself and not Beachbody. Our products speak for themselves. People can buy them on the TV. People can buy them through the website but why are they gonna buy them through you? And I know we all say this, but I can't stress it enough, guys. It's about you and your journey and how this has changed your life and how that can help others. Um, oh, I guess if I move the mouse, it changes right away. Um, number two, you have to plant seeds and earn people's trust. You can't just come out, balls to the walls, posting, 
as soon as you sign up as a coach or if you've been quiet for three months and come back and post one post and say, hey, join my group and expect people to join you. People want to see you're going to be consistent. People are watching you to see what's happening. So you need to figure out, figure out most of your post. How do you share it without saying the word 21 day fix, Shakeology or Beachbody? Say my meal plan, say my shake, say my workouts, put it in a hashtag, say it sometimes, but sometimes leave them guessing what you're talking about so they can reach out to you. But we're not here again to jump on and right away with every post, say Beachbody, Beachbody, Beachbody. You know how many MLMs and direct sales are out there right now and people are getting really annoyed. So you need to take your time, plant seeds, and earn their trust. You need to breadcrumb your journey. You can't just every day talk blatantly about it. The little picture of the champagne and wine um, and our bear, we, that's one of the restaurants we like to go to, but I still have my 21 day fix container in there with Gray's um, animal crackers. He's using the wrong container. And I think I put that in my post because purple is not animal crackers. But again, it's just those people who kind of seen the containers before, they know I carry them. It's little breadcrumbs. The picture of Matt on a big green egg, which he hated taking that picture. But I have my book, I was doing work, I had my wine, he was cooking, it was another business opportunity kind of breadcrumb. And you know, you, you want them to kind of think, well, what is she talking about? What is this business? And guys, I don't show, I don't share my pictures because I'm, I'm not a 15 star coach, guys. I, I'm learning just like you are, but it's just easier for me to share what's worked for me than, I will share some other coaches stuff, but it's just easier for me to share what works for me because that's all I know. The picture on my left, yeah, I guess it's everybody's left if we're looking at the computer, um, where it's just my computer screen and you can actually see what I'm writing. That was March 8th, 2015. I had just signed up as a coach and not a single person knew, um, but I decided, hey, my 21 day fix came. So I posted it, no call to action, just a simple paragraph. Um, I don't know how I got three challengers from that. I did not expect it, but that was me just testing the waters and me getting my confidence to just start posting. You notice I'm not in the picture, um, but it was a little, little bread crumbing, you know, and people ask me, what are you talking about? What is this 21 day fix extreme? What are you, what is this? Number four, you need to follow a program and share your results. This is where you earn their trust. You can see my before and afters and I had a reverse before and after. Because in November, great shape. February, God knows what happened. But I'm human. And I wanted to show that to people that you fall off and it's okay. I committed to 21 Day Fix Extreme. And the day one, the day 21 are the pictures down below. So you need to post before and afters. Tanya just posted hers. Um, I, we need to, there's two, I need to come up. You guys need to come up with names for each other. Um, just posted hers, hers tonight and you do, they don't have to be recent ones. They can be a couple challenges back. I think those, I know the before is, is an old one from Tanya. I don't know if the after is um, like today or yesterday or her other one as well, but you earn their trust. Let's see. Um, you earn their trust by showing them. Oh, diamond Tanya. Well, Tanya, you're going to be diamond too eventually. So we, yeah, we can call her that until we have two diamonds. Um, everybody's going to be diamond eventually. Um, because you all will. So think about earning their trust. And the one I just posted this morning, I never post long emotional posts in this morning, in this morning, in the morning, because I know evening is better for me, but I stepped on the scale this morning, mistake. Um, it's a Wednesday, I don't weigh myself on Wednesdays, and it messed with my head, so I wanted to share that with people. And I didn't get as much comments or likes as an evening post, but that's what I was feeling at that time in the morning, so I posted it. So success club is about, typically if you hit success club one month, it's probably because of the seeds you planted before and they're continuing to trust you. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard this all before, I'm sorry. Um, okay, now I can't remember. Get in the zone and use the time you have. So I think there's some like commercial or something where it's like get in the zone and I have it in my head, I don't know what it's from. Um, and I forgot I'm recording. Um, so you need to think about hitting success club is, let's see if somebody knows what it is. Um, auto zone. Oh, duh. Yeah. Okay. 
Good job. Thanks, Gaby. Um, so a couple things here that's a little bit of tough love. First, sacrifice. If you want this to be more than something that just pays for your shakes, you're going to have to sacrifice something. Whether it's sleep, whether it's TV time, whether it's, I don't know, anything. Facebook scrolling. I want everyone to sacrifice that right now. Um, so you're going to have to just deal with the fact that you're going to have to sacrifice. My numbers are all out of order too, how I was going to talk, but that's okay. Number two, what do you choose to do with the time you have? Now, everyone can sit there and compare themselves to other people on this team and other teams. Well, they have more time because of this. They have more time because of this. I have more time because they don't. Bull crap. We all have the same 24 hours. It's how we choose to use them. Yes, some of us are busier than others. Some of us are moms, some of us are not. Some of us work full-time, part-time, whatever. But if you choose to use that as an excuse, you are never going to figure out how to use your time. You have to figure out how to use your time. Do you do a serious power hour? This is a big one, guys. And I don't mean serious as in like four hours. I mean, do you actually commit to a structured 30 minutes or a structured hour every day? Now your power hour can be what works for you. Maybe one day is only invites. Maybe one day is only connecting. But do you every day have a serious power hour or are you just winging it? If you're winging it, you're never gonna make it. And guys, I wing it a lot and it is the most stressful times of my life when I wing it and when I go back to my structure, calmness happens. Facebook scrolling, stop it now. Facebook scrolling is going to be the death of you. The death, death, death of you. Witchell, yeah, you wing it. I wing it too. We're wingers. I'm not winging it anymore. Um, and you'll figure out how to not wing it. We're wingers. Sounds like we're saying we're swingers. <laughs> we're not swingers. <laughs> um, or I'm not a swinger. I don't, I don't, I don't know you well enough, Tanya. Um, so we are going to be in um, Summit together. I guess we'll find out. Um, so back to Facebook scrolling. I, I can't say enough. Knowledge is power, but you're not going to get so much knowledge from following other people's Facebook page all day long. You can see the little picture before where it says kill, kill newsfeed. If you're on Google Chrome, you can go to kill newsfeed and it kills your newsfeed. So if you are on Facebook trying to do stuff, your newsfeed is not bothering you. Turn off your notifications and turn off your newsfeed. If you need to turn off notifications in the arena, in other groups, and only set aside time to go to that group, do that. Notifications can also kill you. If you see notifications, ignore them if it's not what you're supposed to be doing. Strategize and plan. That was kind of my post today in the arena um, for the Dash to Diamond people and anybody, honestly. Um, do you strategize for your month? And do, you, do you plan? If you don't strategize and plan, you're not running this like a business. You're again, you're winging it. So I might do a whole nother call just on that and what works for me. But you need to, do you have a calendar? Is your calendar starting to fill up for June? Do you know what your goals are for June? I know we're still working on May, but you need to be thinking ahead. Do you use a tracker? I don't care what tracker you use. Guys, I'm a hot mess with trackers. So, I mean, right now I'm trying this thing that I found. I've got a new little thing here. I've got a computer. I still haven't found the one that works for me, but I'm continuing to try because I need to use something. Um, I'm starting to use Google Streak. Still um, annoying. Let me open my blinds now that I'm turning into like an orange, an orange person who looks like she had too much time in the sun, um, which I do. Now I'm like on lights, but it's okay. Actually, no, it's driving me crazy. Sorry, guys. We'll just go with the something about Mary lighting. Hi, baby. Here you go. Thank you. No more. You already had enough. You can have this. Thank you. Um, work smarter, not harder. Don't. <laughs> Grayson just turns the dog and goes, those aren't yours. <laughs> he has crackers. Um, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't run a group by yourself until you're ready. Don't try to come up with new posts every day. Reshare a post. And guys, I know people have said this, and I do it, and I hate sharing it, but I do it. Sometimes after I've worked out, I change my top and take a couple different pictures. Now, I never post if I did not work out. So if I post, the post is true, 
the picture may be from another day because I may just sometimes I will have the picture already ready and some of the text already ready. So then I can just snap the picture after that workout and think about the post later. So you can take pictures all week and then post them later. You don't have to be on the spot. You need to be true to your life, but it doesn't have to be real time all the time. If you feel more comfortable saying yesterday or throwing it in there that it wasn't a live moment, do it. Now, use your time that you have. Number eight, don't enable your challengers or coaches, meaning be enabler. If they message you privately 24 hours a day, you have to break them of that. The structure of how we should do this is our challenge groups and private message, but you need to set the tone with your people from the beginning. If you're starting a group, maybe you say, hey, you know, okay, I work, so I'm gonna check in with you guys in the morning. I expect you to keep posting all day and everybody will support you. When I get home from work, I will come back and check in with you. So you don't feel like you have to be checking all day. I check too much, I enable all of you. I'm admitting it right now, I'm an enabler. And I do it, I, I do it, I can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm cutting you all loose. You're all on your own. No, just kidding. Your most important job is to support people, but you need to figure out how it's not going to drive you crazy. Your time is precious. My little time clock down there. It's a little alarm clock. That's actually, I was supposed to talk about that during your power hour. Set a timer. I've actually started to set a timer, even if it's just 10 minutes, to not let me do anything else for 10 minutes. Um, SC 10 by the 10th. So success, success club 10 by the 10th. Always a goal or success club five by the 10th. Doesn't always happen, that's fine, but it's just a goal. And what I want to see is, I wanna see less of you liking or commenting on my post, engaging in the team page for the first 10 days of the month, because that shows me, hopefully, that you are focusing on your business. Now I've noticed running our coaching event at the end of the month, might, we might want to change that because like I just brought on a new coach today. So of course I'm going to want to mentor her. And now it's going into the beginning of the month where I should be focusing on my business. Cause the only way you're going to make it in this business is you never give up on your business. Once you become a leader to your team, you can't become a manager. You'll never reach financial freedom or rank advance. So you need to focus on you. It's not being selfish. It's the structure of what we all do. If we all notice we're focusing on ourselves for the 10th, that's when we can work on projects and other fun stuff throughout the rest of the month. And I will tell you that months where I hit success club five or even 10 before the 10th, there's just a sense of relief. And now I'm at the point where it has to be 10 for me and it has to be five for Matt. Matt just made it today. Today's the 26th. That's stressful. That's no fun. The rest of the month for me is icing on the cake and points towards Punta Cana and signing up for a success club trip for next year, but I've hit my minimum. So, and then the why do you succeed? All those little things are what is going to get you succeed. So you need to get in the zone and use the time that you have, not the time that I have. Don't think about anybody else but yourself. Obvious one here, guys. <laughs> Run challenge groups. Okay. If there is a single month that you did not run a free group or you do not plan to run a free group, and Amanda, I know we haven't talked about free groups yet, you are not working your business. You are not expanding your market. You are not showing people, unless your month is really crazy and it's honestly not smart for you because you're over committing yourself, then you need to think of that. A lot of you have busy months, like when Tanya was doing basketball, like hey, that wasn't the smartest time probably because she wouldn't have served her customers right and they would have been like, that was boring. So obviously there's exception guys, um, but free group. So if you look at there, you have the Bora Bora picture, clean eating group. That's Megan Ewelson number. I don't know. I don't know the numbers of the coaches, six or eight running a free group last week, top 10 coach running a free group. Um, Brittany Leggett over there. That was from November. Cause she, I feel like she doesn't run a lot of groups. She, I mean, she runs a lot of groups, but, um, so gosh, I can't see the lights in my eyes. She ran a free month group in November and December. Now, another top coach, then Melanie Mitro. She's running her summer survival guide, a normal 30 day group, just like we do. Number one coach in the company, challenge group, posting, just like we do. Not a picture of her, but maybe that one works. And then um, Bonnie Engel, who is just amazing. She does a lot of coaching things because um, she said every post for her is an invite. My dog's looking at me. He's going to probably go pee on the carpet. Um, 
a coaching opportunity. So you should have a free group, a 21 day fixed group, or whatever your program you're highlighting. Um, our mixed groups that we all have. So, so if you have somebody to jump in or another program, or maybe somebody who just wants Shakeology and swims, runs, does whatever. Performance, Ironman just you know sponsored performance. So maybe somebody just wants the support. And a what is coaching event. So you should have four groups every month. That doesn't mean they need to be on your own, but you need four groups to hit Success Club because you need to have something pretty much almost every week to invite people to. So the point of these groups is because you have reasons to invite people. Um, wow, that's really busy. Last one, consistency and accountability. The only way you're gonna hit Success Club is if you are consistent and you hold yourself accountable or you have somebody to hold yourself accountable. So you're gonna be your best support and you're gonna be your best enemy. Nobody's gonna hold your hand. Nobody knows what your COO looks like. I mean, I can see your numbers, but nobody, it's you. You have to sit with yourself every day and decide what you're going to do. And you need to be okay with that. If you need to take a break, be okay with taking a break. If you're not happy with taking a break, reach out to somebody and figure out why you're not happy with that. Do you post three to five times a day? Now I say three, but lately I've been posting a little bit more. So if you look at my, I guess they're called 12 squares, like in the Instagram world, my 12 squares below, I kind of put it backwards. But that's from May 16th to May 25th. So what, that's nine days and 12 times three, that's 36 pictures. So I am posting nine times, nine times a day, no, bad math right there. But nine times three is 27. So I'm posting, hopefully that's the right numbers. I am posting more than three times a day. So I am being consistent because we all know Facebook does not show all our stuff to everybody. Some people don't see stuff. I have people who are like, oh, I've never, I never saw that post. I never heard that. And I'm like, oh, awesome. Um, but you need to be consistent. Another thing to just say to that, look at my pictures. I think I'm in almost all of them if it's not a food or a shout out or something. So I can't say it enough. And I use them sometimes, quotes. We all use them in the beginning because you're, you're panicking, you don't know what to do, but you can see I've start, I put my quotes on my pictures, but I don't put my quotes on all my pictures either. You put them on your picture or you put them in the beginning of your text on your post. And who do you check in with weekly? I know I don't have a success partner right now. Um, I use two coaches um, that I just check in with and I actually use some of you. You may not know it, but I use some of you as my accountability people, but I'm going to I want us to all kind of pair up again um, and re again, and we'll talk about what that looks like. A success clubber, a success clubber, a success partner, is somebody you should check in with and share ideas. I'm here for that too, but this person is really somebody who's going to hold you accountable. So who do you check in weekly? I know on the side there, your challenges, coaches, success partners, upline, your spouse, your partner, your Facebook page, those are all ways to hold yourself accountable. If you said you're starting 21 day fix tomorrow and you never talk about it again, your Facebook page, you're not holding it. You could use your Facebook page as your accountability. So those are all ways to hold yourself accountable. And even if you think no one's watching you and like some of these posts on these pictures down below have, wow, that was really strange. Don't have many likes or comments, or maybe someone reached out to me that didn't like, dogs going crazy didn't like or comment it doesn't mean they're not watching your friends are watching you you need to be consistent so when they have their moment of I need help or if they see that infomercial on 21 day fix or if they hear somebody say the word coach they think of you because they've seen you and they think of the success you've had they think of how you've shared your struggles and they think of you and when you're posting consistently you need to be empowering people, educating people, and entertaining people. So when you post something, it should have one of the three E's. Um, I can't remember who shared that, but we can, I feel like we all kind of use it now. But those are what I think about when I am posting. And last but not least, be you and believe in you. Now, me, I love bubbles. So I just put this picture here because that the bubbles are actually all in the fridge and Matt's out of town and I haven't opened a single bottle. Um, I'm very proud of myself because if you open a bottle, you have to drink it. And I'm by myself. So 
but you need to just focus on being you. You, all of us, are amazing people for our struggles we've been through, for our amazing journeys we've been on. Turn your mess into your message. We're not here to broadcast our dirty laundry, but when you share a struggle or a success and somebody reaches out to you and says that spoke to them or you help them, that is the most amazing feeling in the world. When every single one of you rank advances or signs up a coach or signs up a challenger or make some money, I can see your, I can see your cycle bonuses and I kind of know financially just from your success club numbers what you're making. That all is the most fulfilling part of this job. We will be an elite 2016 team because we have a passion to help other people. But as I posted today on the arena and the dash to diamond, we're not doing it. Well, I am not doing it just because I love to help people. I also want to help all of you reach your goals, whether it's financial freedom, whether it's community, whether it's being in the best shape. And I personally want to reach a little bit of the financial freedom. I want to go on the next success club trip, whatever's after Punta Cana. I want to be on those trips with you guys. That's just what I want out of my life. So you need to believe in yourself. And if you are not reading or listening to PD, you are never going to get over your hurdles. Now, I didn't even put the three vital behaviors in these top five points because those to me are just obvious, but every, those vital behaviors are in all of these little things. So, <laughs> sorry, Grace, it's good. Grace, it's cracking me up over there. He's repeating some things I'm saying. I swear he just said, believe in you to his Percy truck. Um, he's he's going to be a new, new little coach. So that's just what I wanted to share on um, top five tips. Um, now I want to see quickly, what time is it? Because you East Coasters, gosh, I'm really, really orange. Oh, let me open this. Here. So questions, anybody have anything that's on their mind, anything they want me to focus on on the team page this week? Um, what, what's going on that now that it's 6.38, so it's not too late, um, that I can help any of you with? <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, what did I do? My hand. Oh, good question, Amanda. And then you can go, Tanya. So, Amanda, I will actually put you in one of my, gosh, I need to get my nails done. Put you in one of my free groups. So, a free group is normally a, am I sharing my screen right now? No. Yeah. Um, I can just stop that. I'm just wondering in case, like, I don't know, someone sends me a, um, crazy message um a five-day group like a, a butt challenge or a arm challenge so it's very similar to what we exactly do with 21 day fix challenge group that you're in but you're just running it free so people so people can see what we do as coaches um i'll put you in one of mine so you can see what one is you kind of just jumped in faster than many people so we haven't even had to do it yet um all right Witchell. You had your hand up? Yeah, so I'm having, I need to confess, well, and Tanya knows this, so I'm having a really hard, like almost tear worthy, and I'm not going to cry, but I'm having a really hard time with my eating, mm -hmm. like almost to a point of like, I mean, I, I can see the difference.